Welcome back to See You Next Thursday. I'm Tree. And I'm Willow of Pixie Retreat. And today we're just thought, or I thought, we should go a little shallow. She thought. I'm going to give this one all to her. Yeah. <laughs> kudos to me. No, um, we're going to talk about the Real Housewives, not specifically. And the idea behind talking about it, I was joking with Willow, was that I asked her what qualities make her a housewife. And I said, I don't have any qualities that make me a housewife. And then she gave me, Along I don't know ways. how many, because I wasn't raised really traditionally. I wasn't, I wasn't raised, um, I was like as a kid, I wasn't trained to do laundry. I wasn't trained in the kitchen. I wasn't trained to cook. I wasn't trained in any of those ways. Shopping. I was, I was trained, to, I was, I knew how to shop and I'm really good at that. But meaning, um, I love really fancy, expensive things, but I am a really savvy shopper and I have figured out how to get the things I want without spending a million five to do it. So, so some of the things I was saying about you being housewife material, I'll, I'll list off a few. Because um, I couldn't come up with any. When she asked me, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So it was kind of like a dated version of a housewife because the real housewives, are, like, they're not really presenting what it means to be a housewife. And when we talk about the real housewives, we're talking about the real housewives on Bravo. So yeah. for anybody who doesn't know who they are, if you want to get a little shallow, you can check them out on Bravo. Yeah, and it's not like they're presenting the housewife image. No. Certainly not and, the one that we And when I think know. yeah, when I think of the housewife image, I think of the 50s or the 60s. I, I think I think of a of an era by, a bygone era. So that's kind of what I'm referencing here when I want to talk about Willow's qualities as a housewife. I'll talk about mine too. But can I say one more thing? When I think about that, I think about like the wife that stays home, the husband that goes to work, this very traditional setting, and we're really living in a time frame now where not a lot of women are are able to do that. Most women have to work. Or interested. Or, 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 or a lot aren't even interested. Yeah. Although you have a lot of women in your family. Yes. That are, that, you know, get, they, they have that situation of being able to stay home and take care of the kids. Yeah, but they're not home with like their apron on and all that. No, like I would agree. Cookies. Yeah, I totally but, agree. Um, so I was saying that Willow loves to wear heels and dresses and skirts even around the house. I do. And she'll put an apron on if she's cooking. And so you've really learned how to cook. Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, you know, we started a food business. It was imperative. <laughs> but, um, but I mean, we were learning, I was learning how to make raw food. So it's, but it has translated later on. Better. Yeah. She, um, she loves to do laundry. I do, I love it. And I love it. And she loves to iron. I love to get stains out. And she's really good at it. And she loves to like, I do love clean to iron. Clothes, and she loves to like wash the sheets and like, pick out linens and have like vintage tablecloths and um, you love um, night things to smell good. I do. And I flowers. smell, yeah, flowers. Like I can't, you know, when you walk into a house and it just, there's a distinctive smell or, you know, and no shade to anybody. Everybody's different. I, for me, I just, whenever I smell something that doesn't smell right, it's like I have to get down to the bottom of it and then I have to get out my diffuser with essential oils or bring in cut flowers or you know make something in the kitchen that makes the house smell really good and homey. And she loves um, makeup. She's got drawers full of makeup and like hair products everywhere. No I don't. They're all put away. And um, she loves to put rollers in her hair. I do have some kind of vintage hot rollers that I do, I, I do love them. It's like they're so much less damaging to hair. And she so. loves to get dressed up and go out. Not that you do that often, but you do always put yeah. a heel on. I love heels. Um, what other qualities make you like housewife material? You've got some house husband qualities too. Like what? Mow the lawn. I like to mow the lawn. Use the chainsaw. I love the chainsaw. Um, fix the garage. I mean, those are um, things I love to do, but I'm fix the vents. more than what happy. Fix the vents. Filters. Put it, every month you have to put in a new filter to the HVAC. Um, she loves Thank to God open I'm the, here. the bills. I don't love to, but somebody has to do it, and this one refuses. And she loves to pay the bills. I don't love to pay the bills, but somebody, again, has to do it. And so you have like qualities of husband and wife material. I just have a quality that, and I, this is something I've seen for myself in pretty much every single area of my life, because I've worked for myself for like 32 years now. Something that I've noticed is that 
I tend to do jobs that other people don't want to do. Something that just is sitting there and nobody is moving towards it, I'll be the person that moves towards it and you know sometimes I have to figure something new out in order to do it but I find myself doing that. I like to cook and I like to clean. I like the, for things to be clean, let me specify. I like to keep the house nice and fresh and feeling good energetically. I dust, I bake, I make cookies and breads and so I'm also very traditional in the sense that I love to have supper or whatever so for example, if she someone, didn't say dinner. She said supper. Yeah, how, if someone were coming how 50s home, was that? I will have like dinner ready. It's something cool. I really enjoy doing. I like to grocery shop oh, because I like, I like to grocery shop too. I like to have like the house full of really yummy foods. Yeah. Um, I like for things to be organized, and so I think it creates a more pleasing environment for everyone. No, you. Yeah, you are somebody. It's like she doesn't like to have like for me. I will admit I'm a piler. I like to have little piles of things. It makes she me makes feel, me crazy. it makes her crazy, but it's like, I'm sorry, I live here too. I should be able to have a little pile of clothes mm -hmm. in the bedroom because they're not dirty and I'm probably gonna wear some of those later in the week so I can just have my little pile here. And then I always have a pile of books, I, I just or notebooks. I, I'm always writing in notebooks and, um, and I always, I'm always reading something or many things at once. So I always have piles of books and notebooks. And I always like to be presentable, no matter where I am or what I'm and doing. And what does that mean when you say well, that? I I, no matter where I go, I like to like make sure I'm presentable. I like put on an outfit. Yeah. Uh, my niece even asked if I coordinate my pajamas. And I thought about it, and I, I do. Yep. I don't just gr randomly grab anything out. I want to always have like feeling good. It's coordinated. Like she could easily throw on a pair of tennis shoes and run out to the grocery store in something that she might have slept in because it's ready to wear. It's an outfit. <laughs> yeah. So I like to um, I like to look good and feel good and um, feel like I'm presentable to the world. Yeah. Basically. And at home. You know Even what? if no one's around. I had somebody say to me and I thought this was so amazing. She said that she thought it was our responsibility and obligation to constantly present ourselves in a way because it's our responsibility and obligation to always be putting forth beauty into the world. So why not start with self? And it's a reflection. Yeah. I liked that. I thought that was really, like, I really liked when she said that. You like to go to the beauty parlor. You mean to get my hair done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's because but I'm mostly gray. I have so. other traits too. Like I like to have the cars maintained. That's super. And I clean them. That's more house husband. Um, I also work in the yard. Yeah. Um, You're the weed picker. What else do I do around like? Hmm. I don't like. You're to open crazy the mail. duster. I already said that. Oh. I'm not a mail person or a bill person. No, and I've, I've said this before, but there I spent one time. I just wanted to see like how much would pile up before she would open it and it was like the stack was so big and I just decided at that point that it's like I can either get really frustrated at this person for not opening their mail which could indirectly or directly affect me with something that's time sensitive and maybe business oriented where it comes in her name I just decided I'm going to be the person I just open every ounce of mail for that reason so well there might be checks in there for me yeah well guess and what I'm going to keep them because I'm the one opening the mail yeah that's fine. I'm just kidding. Um, what else was I going to say? I also, yeah, I like to like, I, um, I like to be in charge. Of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like to be in charge directing. Of the kitchen. Yeah, I'm really Of the cleaning. That. Yeah, like you'll say, can you do this and can you do that? And sometimes I'll say, nope, because I'm doing something else. But eventually I do it because the truth is it's always it's way nicer to live with somebody who likes to keep things nice and tidy and organized as opposed to somebody who is the exact opposite of that. So what are other some house, housewifey traits that you possess? I don't know. I don't I don't I've never looked at myself that way. So I, it's just not something I've sat and thought about where you've obviously sat and thought about it. How about this? Since we're actually, this was actually inspired by the Real Housewives of whatever city, New York, LA, or Beverly Hills, Orange County, Atlanta, Potomac, 
Salt Lake. Salt Lake, which is my favorite. Dubai. Miami, Dubai, New Jersey. New Jersey. Which is your favorite? And which is your like? Which is your favorite? Um, what's that word? Um, which is your favorite city? That wasn't the word I was looking for because that's an easy word. What's oh um, franchise? What's your favorite franchise of all of the housewives? Actually, your top two. Collect you can collectively. Yeah, top three. Top three. And they're not indicative of what we were actually just talking about, but um, it is like a catchphrase: the Real Housewives. So of course they've been on for a while. Um, I think I, like 15 years, I maybe more. Atlanta. I I lived in Atlanta way back in the day when I was in the music business. I was in and out of Atlanta quite a bit. And um, Candy Burgess. Burris. Burris. Oh man, Candy. <laughs> sorry. Um, anyhow, we had we did a song with her way back in the day. She probably won't remember. But I like her consistent personality. Yeah. And she's not like a shit stirrer. Yeah. Um, so I would say like the most even. Um, she's a, she's a go-getter. Oh, she can go off. No, I know, but she's very much a go-getter and yeah. respectable. Yeah. And I like that qual those qualities of hers. Um, and the the biggest villain? No, I said oh, what biggest, are your what thing? are your favorite? What are your like your top three favorite franchises? Then I'll ask you another question. I mean, I've liked Beverly Hills because I lived in Beverly Hills too, so it's interesting to to look at it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and. New Jersey's just like, they keep it hood, so it's like, they've been entertaining. I like New York. I said three, oh. top three. Well, currently Salt Lake City's on blast. That's my favorite. Yeah. Hands down right now, hands down. And so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just interesting to kind of check out, and, or not interesting. So who's your actual out. favorite housewife? Didn't I already say? Nope, I asked about the franchises. Oh, well I said candy. Oh, you. I, but I was asking about the franchise. So Candy's your favorite. Heather Gay. Who's your least favorite? Do I have to say? Why not? Well, I don't like when people are mean and have mean spiritedness. That's not something that I'm into. Um, I think Tamara Judge can be very mean. Yeah, me too. Um, so I don't like when people act abusive towards each other. Um, I mean, Teresa but it's you guys can be mean. Mean as age too. Yeah. Like, I think probably the meanest ones are Tamara, Teresa. They're the, they're the two that come to my mind immediately. Like, they just are always going for the jugular. Always. It's crazy. And rarely take any responsibility for anything that they've said or done. It's so interesting. And then I love Heather Gay. And I love Lisa Barlow's fashion sense. Not necessarily her personality, but she has... Her fashion is so good, so good. Well, the shows and what we were talking about, they don't really You don't connect. see any of that. And it's funny, but it's like, it's so funny that they call them the real housewives because half of them aren't married. They may have been married, but half of them aren't married. Some of them have never even, like you go to New York and it's like two of them that are on that one, Uba and Bryn, neither one of them are married. They don't have kids. They're not married. It's so interesting. Well, that's more of the wh where things are going. And I think yeah. I was asking Willow about what makes traits of her as a housewife because we're seeing less and less of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up in a time frame where, you know, both of our parents have been together for decades Long time. and decades yeah. and did play out more of those Over 50 years. Roles. Not yeah. like the standard like housewife time frame, but they did come from a time frame when, well, you, maybe your parents not so much, but like in the 50s probably saw it with your mom's mom? Well, like my mom was born in 48. My dad was born, I think, in like 50 or 51, something like that. So they, but like my mom didn't see that. My grandma wasn't a traditional housewife. She just was not. She just wasn't. And um, so I didn't really see that. She didn't instill that in you at all. She didn't no. want you to play that role. She out. didn't. And in fact, she would say things, it's like she didn't train, she didn't train any of us to be housewives. She didn't train us to be mothers. She didn't train us that way. And so I, and in fact, my mom would say things to me like, don't have kids, do you? And I think she probably said that because she had four kids by 21 and was on her second marriage. And, you know, now married to the man who raised me for, I think, 53 or 54 years now, 54 years. But so you saw stability, but I not saw stability, like that traditional stuff. And I also saw stability and I was domesticated. 
But I don't think I was domesticated to become this housewife version. And it just wasn't ever anything I imagined for myself. I well, never followed that role. Yeah, and it's interesting because a lot of your sisters are, you know, are not necessarily out in the workforce, but I wouldn't really call them traditional either. You know, I guess this idea of housewifery is just really, really changing. I think, but I know a lot of women that would like to be able to stay home with their children. And, you know, I do. And I think it's so interesting anymore how most people don't get to do that. You know, and if they do, it's because maybe there's a, you know, a partner in the house, a husband or a partner or whatever that is taking on that role. But it seems like anymore, based on the cost of living, for most of us, it's like usually both people have to work. It depends. It depends. Yeah. You know, it depends on what you feel like you have to do. Yeah. I think if you feel like I don't have to do it, then you'll find a way to not. Yeah. And I'm seeing that more and more in younger people. They're waiting a lot longer to have kids. And I guess I don't really know anybody that wants to adopt that persona. I don't, I can't think of anybody that, that really wants that persona of being, you know, the stay at home, traditional kind of person. I'm sure there's somebody in my realm, but I can't think of them. Do you think there's something wrong with that? No, no, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just, I was just, contemplating as two people that don't move a traditional path yeah but yet we possess certain traits well and we that, live in a world where you know there's certain kinds of things that seem to be expectations you know like it's so crazy how so many women are having just to pretty much do it all but has it always been that way maybe so my mom's always done it all yeah my mom too yeah I and mean mad kudos to her for yeah doing everything that she did I mean, my Being dad strong, always brought home know. the bacon, but my mom really did everything. She always worked, too, up until, I don't know, maybe, maybe when my brother was in high school or something, maybe my sister. It's, you know, but for, for Tiffany and I, for the, the, there's four of us in my family, uh, or four kids, I, I always knew my mom working on some there's level. No shade. I mean, like, I mean, a woman's work is never done. I agree. And when I watch mothers, like, mothering, it's it's a lifetime job and it's a big job. Yeah, the and, biggest job. Um, and to hold I think down the a house biggest. is like a huge responsibility. So, and I feel like women don't really get the the props they deserve for, you know, the the work that they do, in just kind of keeping their kids lifted and showing up and doing all that. So I and their households running and yeah, it's a lot. I think I was just taking it from a different perspective of just like, you know, how you move about your house and what you do that makes you a housewife in terms of running your house, kids aside, because they're definitely a big component of that, but just, yeah. you know, keeping a tight schedule, you know, making sure breakfast is on the table. For me, growing up, dinner was always on the table at night. We always had dinner together. And so even did if we. my mom was working, like, that's where I started cooking from a young age. I learned to cook would contribute to making dinner. Um, so no matter who was home, and even still, like we always sit down and have supper. You and I? We do, and then even when I go visit family. Yeah. It's just one of those, one of those components that, that's one piece that I really love, is like sharing a meal. So it's something we do with everyone, mm. you know. Yeah. Anyhow, what makes you a good housewife? Um, or do you even have that kind of thought process? Because I certainly, when she said that to me, I was like, what are you even talking about? Like, that doesn't even compute for me. It didn't compute. But you live in a house. I do. But know? that doesn't make me a housewife. Kind of. Sometimes. I That's guess I'm, you have qualities. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm, you're not like a housewife, like stay-at-home mom. And, again, no shade. I just, I, it's like I just never, you know, I just, I never saw myself that way ever. And then I think maybe because I had a mom who, had four kids by 21, she, she would say things to me like, do you? Like, My do you? My sister would always say, get in that kitchen and rattle those pots and pans. Which sister? <laughs> Donna. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Pretty funny. But yeah, I just wanted to like take it shallow for a second. And, but it's um, not really shallow. It's just bringing in the housewives. That made it shallow. From Bravo takes it that sort of direction. Yeah. Just contemplating how we live our lives. We spend a lot of time in our house. Well, especially after COVID. 
And, and during COVID. Yeah, when you're in your house, like, what are you doing in your house? Do you like a nice kept house? Are you like super lax? Do you like to, do you still like to feel put together in your house? Like um, those kinds of questions I like to wonder about. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Handy, Deep Thoughts. Deep Thoughts by me. <laughs> by Teresa. Anyhow, that was it. That was our topic. What it means to be a housewife in this modern era. Yeah. What skills and traits do you have that you bring forth in order to accomplish some housewifery? Or what are some areas that you would like to be better at in your housewifing, in your housewifing work? <laughs> 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 On that note, oh. we will see you next Thursday. If you liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. We really, really appreciate everybody who have um, liked our videos and subscribed to our channel. Really, thank you so much. We appreciate you all so much, and we will see you next Thursday. Peace, Peace out.